Welcome back guys to our video, this is going to be on how to step in under 5 minutes. Step is currently in the team game ladder and hoping this video is going to help you guys out. Now it's a very open map, has a lot of food in the middle and it means it can be quite aggressive. You can see there's lots of wood in the outside and everyone's concentrated into the middle there. Now the thing that sets Step a little bit different than other Nomad maps, you do start with 6 villagers so it's a little bit accelerated to start. And you also start with some extra population space in the form of yurts. Don't have a lot of armor though, so don't be using them in your walls. You don't have a starting scout, but you do start with a horse. And the thing that sets the map apart is the amount of deer. There's nearly 15,000 food worth of deer in the middle of the map. So where do you want to be starting with your TC and Dark Age? Well... Insta TC is something that you do see a lot of top players doing. It just gets your economy running straight off the bat and you just go a normal build order to wood now. If you do to go and TC wood, it does mean your first building can be a mill though. And that could be out anywhere you want. I don't recommend it really being on the berries when there's so much deer on the map. And same thing goes with your TC. If you are probably going to go for a secondary resource over wood, it's likely to be gold. And I think you could even make an argument for gold over wood. I wouldn't spend too long looking for a spot, you don't want to fall too many economy numbers behind, 6 is a good start, but if you start the game with 6 versus 9 it's not going to be great. Now I would recommend taking the deer as early as possible because it's going to become a more risky area as the game goes on, so make that investment early and it will pay off later in the game. Also don't forget, you're placing your TC so your boars might be really far away, Berbers with a double boiler could be amazing but you do have to be careful. There could be horses gonna block your villager or gonna block the boar. I've had it happen and I've lost a vel before. Now a drush is definitely a viable option, especially as you can kill the deer with the militia. And if you have enough left over, it could be a nice quick transition to man at arms. Now, looking at feudal age, there are gonna be pretty standard options you can really go for. Step is a lot like Arabia in that aspect, I'm just very open of it. Scouts are definitely going to be an option though, since it's likely to be villagers out on the field collecting the deer. Archers of course, a very good option. The biggest power of archers on step, and on most maps, is the fact you can mass them throughout the game. You can expect to have your micro tested though with being such an open field, so you may want to go into Micromania and do some work there. Towers could work as well, 1v1s and team games, maybe in small team games, 2v2s, but Generally speaking, um, Scout Archer meta is a thing that's going to dominate in team games. Now, it should be pretty easy to wall. You can see you're pretty much in a pocket of space. You can wall across the front. I would try not make it too complicated for yourself. Just use the wood lines as much as you can, but it is dependent on your TC position. There is going to be little gaps in between your sides as well, so try and plug those holes. And when you are walling, it's probably going to be a good idea just to have a spearman defending your villager. If you do end up with quite a hard, compact base, it might be difficult for some space and expanding. And if you are going to play open, probably a good idea to just tower your resources in the meantime. Don't be surprised if you do not make it out Feudal Age. It can be a very aggressive map and you could lose a number of villagers. Now moving into Castle Age, pretty standard options, but the main thing you want to be going for is a really aggressive approach as it can be really hard to fall back in towards the trees, so booming isn't always the most viable option for players. Knights, of course, are a fantastic option due to their kind of high damage potential, and you can also turn that into some sort of a siege push. You could also be adding an instant monastery because you do have a guaranteed relic, which is really nice for your side. And if you're going knights, an instant monastery is always a good idea. Lithuanians, perhaps, could be really strong in this map on team game. Now, the true power of archers is you can mass them all for feudal age. If there is a hole in somebody's uh, base, you are going to feast. And the main thing you've got to consider in team games is the coordination between the players. If you're isolated from your teammate, you can have heavy, heavy losses. And if you do make it to Imperial Age, congratulations. The main things you want to be going for is, of course, upgrades on your units. Make sure you have a, a stable economy that can afford them. Map control is also massive. Market trade is very unlikely on this map, and castles in the middle, over the golds, over the stones, are going to be dominant. And with lots of castles, that means there is going to be lots of siege too. So quick transitions to imp are going to be really important for you winning this game. Make sure you have the gold and the stone control, and hopefully with that, you would have won. Hope you did enjoy the video. You can check me on these channels here. Ciao.